All right. Okay, here we are. Here we go. Hello. Hello, hello. Welcome to the stream, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Hello and welcome. Now, uh, today we got more another Eden. Uh, we completed part one of the main story, or which is like uh, chapter 25, that is. That is the end of part one. We completed that uh, yesterday. And now, uh, we cannot continue the main story just yet, because we have to complete an episode, I think, which is like a, a side story of sorts. We need to do that. And there's also a lot of other side quests, side missions, whatever you want to call them, that also got unlocked. And I want to do that too. So I guess what we're going to do today is the side missions thing first. And after that, I guess we can start doing the episode that we need to do in order to continue with the story. Pretty much. That is the plan. Yeah. <clears throat> Not much to say about it. Uh, also, uh, the game kind of crashed like a two or three minutes ago for some reason. <laughs> Probably you may have noticed because the the audio got cut off out of nowhere. But uh, yeah, the the game simply just crashed for no reason when that happened. But it uh, seems to be fine now, I guess. So with all that said, I guess we should get started then. We have a bunch of quests to do, and missions, <coughs> and my voice is dying already, despite barely talking. <coughs> hmm, great. Um, okay. Hmm, all good to go, from the looks of it. Yeah, alright. Then, let's get into the game. And get started and see what to do. What missions are we going to do today? There's also the the the, the adventure thing where you are a cat that also got unlocked after completing part one of the story. We checked it out a bit yesterday, that's for sure after the after the story, just before ending the stream. So you have a, an idea of what it's like. So I guess we could also do that one day. Why not these days, I guess? Probably not today, because we already have uh, a bunch of stuff to do. But uh, maybe one day we can continue the, the whole adventure as a cat. One of these days. Uh, but first things first... Okay, in progress we got the, the side thing from the symphony, the Tales of Symphony, which we're not going to focus on. But we do have a bunch of this stuff. Uh, okay, Apocrypha and Mythos, uh... Hmm... Song of Sword and Wings of Lost Paradise, okay, Mythos. Hey, okay... I think we're going to leave those aside for now. I think. 
Apocrypha and Mythos episode. We're going to do to do that last. We have to do this one in order to continue with the story. But we're going to leave that for last. So here we have character quest, sub quest, as a symbol, which I suppose is another side story thing. I suppose. Hmm. Maybe. I'm not sure. It doesn't seem to be very long, but I'm not sure how how long that is. So who knows? Maybe you could check that out afterwards. But let's see. First things first. That is the other tales with the characters. So we have character quest. We have that with CL. Shikure, which is in Barwoki. Uh, and then uh, Sukiha and his Mena. Okay. Okay, so that's with the character quest. Sub quest, what do we have? Okay, we have a lot. <laughs> we have a lot. We have a lot of these. Uh, okay, this is one is in the house currently. In our house. So yes, the level 55. Dreaming the Sky and Nuaru. Abland. Uh, okay. This is in Elsion. Ancient Tome. Hmm. Okay. So yes, the level 55. Hmm. Okay, last day of Miglins. A lot of nostalgia. Oh, okay, these are two, two side quests that we can left behind in the Laura Dome. Since we focus on the story. Okay, okay. Okay. Uh, we're going to do the character quest first. Yeah. Then we do the sub quest. And then we do the... Then we do the thing here. This this icon here. That will be the third one. Uh, and then we do the episode that we need to do. I think that is the plan. So, you know, got stuff to do today. So let's try to do as much as we can. Now, first things first, we have the character quest. Uh, we got Shigure here in Barwaki, so we have to put Shigure in the team to do this. Otherwise, we just cannot do it. So, Shigure, where are you? There you are. Alright, we're going to leave Nekoko for this, out of this for now. Uh, put a search in the front. This is not a hard quest to do. Yeah. So let's just do this. Basil. So yes, level 10. Yes, and this is a uh, character quest here. Shigure visits for Rocky and is suddenly captivated by the village atmosphere. As all don't Shigure chat, someone suddenly says hello. Alright. <clears throat> so this is your hometown. What a peaceful village it is. It's far enough from the capital, just like my dojo. It's quite smooth in here. I'm glad you like it. Speaking of which, Shigure, doesn't your family own a dojo? That's right. We're the Ito Ryo School of Swordsmanship, one of the strongest in the East. Oh, that's amazing. Well, don't be too impressed. All that means is that we're a bunch of thugs that made a living off the battlefield long ago. And yet we take pride in our bloodline. We're nothing but a band of hopeless fools. <laughs> right. What? This aura? What's wrong, Shigure? Hmm... Huh. Cat. Oh, it's just Langello. The village Calico. A Calico, you say? What an interesting pattern he has. Hmm. Uh, Shigure, Langello doesn't really like strangers. 
Never mind. Guess she is the exception. Well, how unusual. <laughs> Ever since I was small, I had a way with both children and cats. Is that so? Are all Eastern Samurai this good with cats then? Um, excuse me. Do you come from this village? Hmm? Hello, mysterious person. Yes, this is my hometown. Are you a traveler? Yes, that's right. I don't know this area very well, so I'd like to ask you something. Where would I be able to hire some strong warriors? Some strong warriors, huh? Perhaps the best place to go would be the capital, Unigen. It's a big city, so you should be able to find most things you're looking for. Unigen, you say? Alright, thank you very much. I'll give that place a try. Okay. Hey Aldo, what the heck was that? If it's a strong warrior she needs, I'm right here. Is a she? Uh, this person is a she, apparently. Uh, Shikure? Do you want her to hire you? Well, I don't need the money, but I can just abandon a person in need. Hmm, you're nicer than you look, Shikure. In that case, I'll help too. Hold on, Aldo. You should stay out of it. How come? Don't worry, I have my reasons. Still, I'm not too familiar with this continent. May I ask for your assistance with directions, Aldo? Oh, of course. If that's all you need, I'll be glad to help. If you're going to Unigan, you have to pass through the Karak uplands, so you should be able to catch up. Alright, first quest starts. Alright, off we go. Okay, I see the icon already. Here. Hey, wait. Hey, wait for me. Oh, you're the person from earlier. Hooded woman. Yeah. Uh, my buddy here insisted that he wanted to help you, so we tried to catch up to you. Hey there, little lady. Depending on your situation, I might be able to help. And you are? Your outfit doesn't look like it's from around here. Correct. I'm Shigure, a samurai from the east. Oh, you're a samurai. How wonderful. I've always wanted to learn about foreign cultures. The eastern continent is the number one place I'd love to go to. Go to. I see. How perfect. We were right to catch up with you. Well then, Mr. Samurai, what do I have to do for you to help me? It's quite simple. I just need you to answer a few questions of mine. Is that all? I'm happy to answer anything you want. Firstly, from your voice I assume you are a woman, a young maiden at that. Yes, that's right. I am a woman, and I suppose I am rather young. Good. Secondly, are you single? <laughs> well, I'm not married. It's troubling, it's troubling me, actually. Excellent. On to my last question. Do you like children? Yes, I love children. I actually want to have children as soon as possible. Really? Shigure. Incredible. A perfect score. Um, what do you mean by that? Well, there's only one reason I came to this continent, and that would be... To find a wife. Oh, okay. Really? Segure, do you want to marry her? I don't even know what she looks like in the first place. Absolutely. A young maiden who loves kids and likes Eastern culture? She's everything I'm looking for in a wife. Huh. That's not much to go on. But, Shigure, are you sure about this? You haven't even seen her face yet. I don't care about that. Looks aren't important to me. Oh, really? 
But that's still a bit odd. If that's all you want in a wife, why come all the way here? Couldn't you have found one sooner in the east? Um, excuse me. I'm sorry, but I can't marry you. Hmm? Why is that? Naturally, I won't ask you to ask you to right away. I will, of course, take all, the, all of the necessary steps before that. No, it's not that. Um, this is why. Oh, she's a beast? She's beast folk. That's why she was uh, with a hood. Oh my. Now do you understand? This is why I cannot mes marry you, Mr. Samurai. Hey Aldo. I don't know much about bees, but uh, they can bear children with humans, can't they? Ah, he doesn't care. I think it's possible. I definitely heard that before. Good, then there's no problem. Yeah, he doesn't care. <laughs> he doesn't care he's a, he, uh, she's a beast. <laughs> Imagine the surprise look on my Bob's face when I bring home a beast wife. How amusing. Sorry to keep you waiting. There's nothing stopping you from marrying me. You can relax and come home with me. Huh? Is that so? But I... Don't worry about the horns. In the east, the bride's headdress is called the horn hider. <laughs> That's not what I meant. There's someone else I want to marry. Ah. What? No. What a fool I am. I forgot to ask whether you had a special someone. Probably the most important question, just in case. It is against the samurai code to steal someone else's lover. Shigure, why are you so shocked? You literally just met her. I'm sorry. I really should have told you in the first place. Oh well. <laughs> Not to worry, I'm used to being rejected by girls. Is that something to be proud of? Well, I should be going now. I had to Unigan as originally planned. Why Unigan? I thought you were simply looking for a strong warrior. That's true, but I can accept your help if I can marry you. What are you saying? You're still a damsel in distress. I cannot call myself a man if I didn't help you. If you really help me? Of course, a samurai never goes back on his word. <clears throat> really? Thank you. Anyway, from now on, would you mind helping out too, Aldo? That's fine, but why did you not want me to help earlier? For a very good reason. If I don't stand out, then I don't stand a chance with the ladies. So that was it. Well then, uh, would you mind coming with me? I'll explain everything properly. Sure thing. Where are we headed? It's near the entrance to the Moonlight Forest in the Nuara Uplands. Alright. The Nuaru Uplands, you say? Uh, let's try going from the forest. All right. Yeah, right here. Nice. By the way, did I register, register you? Yes. From the, looks of, from the looks of it, yes, I did. Okay. <clears throat> oh, you found one. Oh, it's another beast. Could it be this youngster is the one you want to marry? Yes, that's right. You're going to be the one helping me out? They both look strong, but... I don't know if they can beat your father-in-law. What did you say? With the power of the Itorio secret arts, there is no one I cannot defeat. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to insult you or anything. It's just that my father-in-law is really strong, even for a beast. What do you mean? You asked for my help to fight your father-in-law? That's right. My father is a traveling martial artist, and he's been marking a living as a mercenary. Making. A living. Sorry. And father always says, if any man wants to marry my daughter, he has to be stronger than me. Wow. Hmm, as a martial artist myself, I know how he feels. My love is a scholar, though. 
He's a completely different kind of a man than my father. I've challenged him countless times in my own way, but I don't think I'll ever be able to defeat him. Because of that, I managed to convince father to allow someone to help him. So that's how it is. If I defeat your father-in-law, then you two can get married. Yes, that's right. Got it. I understand your situation. Let's go spar with your father right now, then. Take me with- take me to him. My father is in the Moonlight Forest. Thank you so much for your help. Alright. Off we go, then. Okay. So here. Here we are. Ah, father. Oh, hi. He sure does look strong. I can sense his martial arts progress. This is so exciting. My heart is racing in anticipation. Well, we're here to help, so let's go, everybody. Yes, I'll do my best, but I hope you two can finally defeat my father-in-law. Leave everything to me. What are you doing, Shigure? You there, martial artist of the beasts. I am a samurai from the east. As the grandmaster of the Ito Ryo clan, I, Shigure, challenge you to a duel. Okay, Shigure will be the only party member from now on. Continue anyway? Yes, yeah, sure. As samurai of the east, you say. What reason would you have to challenge me? You're strong, sir. Do I need any other reason than that? Hmm, you're absolutely right. And I've not yet fought any Samurai of the East. I have no choice but to accept. Shigure de Torio, prepare yourself. Fight me. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Easy. Kinda helps that he's level 28 at this point. Kinda helps. Okay. We won. You win. Correct. Oh, you transformed. You're like those raccoon dogs from the Inanari Plateau. Raccoon dogs. <clears throat> we beasts change from our human forms to our beast forms when we fight. Hmm. I see, so that's why. Oh, there you are. I managed to defeat your pups. Wait, Shigure. As promised, you'll allow your daughter to get married now, yes? Huh? What are you talking about? I heard that in order to allow someone to marry your daughter, it would have to be defeated. So what you're saying, Shigure, is that you plan to marry my daughter? No, not at all. I was simply helping out that young fellow over there. Wait, oh no. I was only supposed to help, but I ended up beating you myself. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Hey, Pops, don't you think a beast of her own kind would be a better match for your daughter? Doesn't bother me. As long as you're a strong martial artist, I don't care if you're human or a samurai of the East. Oh no, he's just like Shigure. He just doesn't care. <sighs> what a pain. I'll just take her as my wife instead, then. What? No, that's not what we promised. Don't tell me, was this your plan all along? Why are you, it's your fault for not being able to beat her pops. However, I'll give you one more chance. If you can defeat me, I will give you her hand in marriage. Huh? What's going on here? Hmm, well, Shigure did defeat me. And if you defeat Shigure in turn, that will be the same as having defeated me yourself. He was so easy to convince. This guy is really just like Shigure. 
If you want her hand, then fight me. I'll let you take the first strike as a matter of honor. Give me your best shot. Alright, I... I'm absolutely going to marry her. Alright, go. Nope. Was... Was that your best shot? Yes, that's the strongest I've ever managed to hit anyone. Not even a flinch. Duh, what a powerful strike that was. This must be the secret power of the beast. I've been defeated. Shigure. You're way too easy to read. What? When did you learn that? If it works, it works. Very well. Since you have defeated Shigure, I will give you my blessing. Father, really? Sir, thank you. You two, what's going on here? What are you talking about, Aldo? Never mind all that. We should be celebrating such a joyous occasion. We should have a pre-wedding banquet. Come, let us all head to the Nuaro uplands. It's the perfect place for it. Well, I guess the plan worked. Well, I guess. If it works, I guess it's fine. Well then, let's finish this quest then. Here we are. End of the character quest. Oh, I didn't know what might happen there. I'm glad it ended up alright. <laughs> I was nervous at how things might turn out too. Shigure. For as long as I can remember, the warrior's blood that flows through me has led to me losing control sometimes. Ever since I was a child, I've been scolded by my father countless times for being a fool. It looks like you still have some trouble with that. You so much for me, Shigure. I must offer you my thanks. What are you talking about? I didn't do anything. The youngster simply wielded incredible power. Oh, don't be silly, Shigure. I'm grateful you put up such an act. Huh? You knew it was all an act? Of course I did. With all my experience in the ways of martial arts, there's no way that I wouldn't. Um, you're not angry that I did that? I thought you wanted a strong song in law. Uh, son-in-law. Well, I still do, but my dear daughter's happiness is more important to me than anything like that. It just bothers me how weak he is. I tried to go easy on him to give him a chance, you see, but even that didn't work. I see. That must have been hard for you. That's gaming. Yep. Hello, Nails. I'm just glad I could finally settle things for my eldest daughter. No, oh, hey, thank you for the one bit. Uh, yes, today is a wonderful day. I like you, Shigure. I have a younger daughter whose hand in marriage you could take. How about that? What? That would be wonderful, but please don't tell me she has a lover already. <clears throat> Don't you worry, I'm certain there's nobody of the sort. Well then, I have no objections. For the first time ever, I've been acknowledged by a maiden's father. Me, Shigure. <laughs> That's settled then. Hey, sweetie, come here for a second. Sure, come in. Now then. It's a child. <laughs> Great. What's up, daddy? Uh, yeah, it's like... Not that young, please. <laughs> How about it? You can get engaged now and get married once she comes of age. Eh, uh, um, thank you for your offer, but... 
I don't have the time to wait for her to grow up. Oh, that's too bad. We can play together though. How about that? What games do you like to play? Hey, thanks, mister. Let's play tag. Alright, I made then. Yay! He doesn't have the time. Hmm. All right. Sigures character quest complete. All right. Now, uh, next, we got CL's quest, but uh, that is on Laula Dome. Okay, that is in Unigan, and that is in Elsion. Okay. So let's go to Unigan next. Let's change Shigure back to Nekoko and put her on the front. <clears throat> and go to Unigan. All right, go here. Sukiha's quest. Sukiha is in awe at her first time seeing the capital city. She seems busy talking to the people of Unigan. All right, let's get this started. Whoa, so this is a city of the West. I've only ever read about it in books. It's so pretty. I wonder what that strange hole in my castle was, but now I'm so glad I went through it. Okay, so her horns uh, grow small when she is like not excited or anything. I see. A little detail there that I notice. And it's so busy here. Is this? My chance to proceed with my ambition? I think it is. There's so many people. I gotta befriend them all. Now that that's decided. Ah. The flowers are coming out well today. They are so pretty. I feel my spirits lifted just looking at them. It's true what they say. Flowers really are healing. Do you like flowers? <coughs> I do. Taking care of my little babies is my sole purpose in life. Do you like flowers too? Yeah, I love them. Your town looks so gorgeous with all these flowers everywhere. I want my country to look like this. Country? No, oh, judging from your outfit, are you from the east? I am. Do you know, we don't get any of these flowers in my country. It's so exciting to see new varieties. That makes sense. This Nurumerkis here can only be found around Barwoki. Really? I'll have to go there later. Thanks for telling me. I really enjoyed talking with you. Same here. I'm so glad we've gotten closer. <laughs> As of today, you're a citizen of my country. Uh, what now? A citizen. If you're my friend, you're my citizen. I'm sort of a... I'm sort of princess of an eastern country and... If I'm to achieve my dream, I need more citizens. Um, what's with that girl? She's coming up with the most ridiculous things. Um, I don't think I can just change my nationality like that. You don't have to change it. You can be a citizen of both. This still sounds a little odd to me. Um, I think I'll pass. Anyway, I'd best get going. I have a lot to do today. I need to pick a lot of flowers from the other beds, so bye. Alright. Oh, what a shame. We couldn't so close as well. No, snap out of it. If I get discouraged by tiny things like this, I'll never achieve my goal. I just have to talk to more people. She's going to carry on. 
Concerned as I am, though, why I've been asked to guard Yuri again today. I guess the kingdom's short of men. I'd better continue my patrol. Okay, who should I befriend next? Oh, this is gonna be so much fun. Okay. Now, learn the Noble Blossom's real name. Okay. Uh, I suppose I'll get this then. Ten stones. Anyway. So be my citizen. Citizen? What are you talking about, lady? I'm proud to call myself a citizen of Miglens. Look, just seem nice and all. Try as someone else, okay? Nope. So you should be my citizen. <laughs> You're funny. Maybe you give me some sweets? Oh, I do have some sweets I was saving for later. What did I tell you about taking food from strangers, dear? Besides, I thought you liked King Minglands. Do you really want to betray him like this? Oh yeah, I do like sweets, but I like the king even more. So we miss. So we. Really. Now that we are such a good, uh, such good friends, you can be my citizen. <laughs> No, I really have heard it all. I'm happy with my life here. I got no reason to take you up on your offer. The people here really like their country and king. What a great country. I love mine too, so I get how you feel. You do? Yet you're still trying to lure me away. What a strong-minded kid. From what I'm hearing, I'm hardly the first you've spoken to today. People are talking about me? They are. Come to think of it, I heard there was a beast accosting people as Serena Ghost. Was that you? I guess most haven't noticed, but those are horns on your head, right? Beast? Never heard of them. But you're saying there are others with horns like me? I've never been to the coast, so I don't think that was me. <laughs> Maybe not then. Besides, apparently this beast acts way more suspect than you do. A person with horns trying to get along with humans. Zippy, that's my dream as well. This person might just be willing to become my citizen. Hey, why don't you listen to me? This guy's probably up to no good. You say they were at Serena Coast? Thanks, I'll go look for them. Hey, it's no use. She can hear me. She's going to see a beast? Come to think of it, the knights did warn me about a suspicious beast today. <coughs> this is worrying. I'd better go see what happens. Hello, Mono. Hello there. Eh, uh, yeah. This wasn't here before. Oh, well, I'll check that later. I'll do the quest first. I'll do the quest first. I'll check whatever the carriage is for later. Alright. Okay, over there. Alright. Okay. Nice. Uh, not that. There we go. So here... <clears throat> I always get misunderstood because of the way I look. 
But I really want to get closer to humans. <laughs> right. Do not need to be scared. Let's join hands. I just want to be your friend. Right. If that's all you want, why do you keep laughing like that? I'm so happy I can contain myself. You look so test. I mean, cute. Yeah, cute. So you're gonna say tasty, wouldn't you? It wasn't working, I just have to use actions instead. Get away from me! Somebody, help! Ah, how nice! Hmm? Hey, it's the flower girl from before. And I'm guessing this is the bees I heard about? It's you. Stay away, it's not safe. But you do look like you are having such a nice time. It's mean to exclude me. Yep, we're getting nice and close. Why don't you join us? <laughs> right. His laugh is getting even more evil. Relax, he's the friendliest person I met today. I see no reason to refuse. You are kidding, right? A cross species bone is a truly beautiful thing. I'm so glad you see that too. Now you'll both be my citizens, right? Huh? Citizens? It's not complicated. If you're my friend, you're my citizen. You call your friends citizens? Human culture is strange. But welcome. <laughs> Come play with us. Oh. Goblins. Monsters. What? It's okay, don't be scared. They're only here to kidnap you. They won't bite. Well, maybe just a little. <laughs> what is the meaning of this? You were lying to us. You don't want to be friends. I wasn't lying. We can make friends. We can bite you. It's all good. Stop. Who are you? I'm Aldo. I was asked to guard the kingdom. So this is the suspicious beast I've been hearing so much about. Suspicious? <laughs> How am I suspicious? How aren't you suspicious? You're clearly trying to hurt people, and I'm going to stop you. I'll help. It's even attacking people. I'll make you regret this. What? Are you gonna get in my way? I don't need you. Go. No. Make mince meat out of them. Sure. Easy. Not even a chance. No way. How'd you defeat all the monsters? You're the only one left now. It's over. You're gonna kill me? Aldo, was it? Wait. Let me handle this. Huh. Uh, are you sure? Come to think of it, I never told you my name. It's Tsukiha. If we're gonna be friends, you should at least know my name. Friends? I thought I told you that we that was all just a lie. You lied, I didn't. I was honest when I asked you to be my citizen. Huh? I said I'll make you regret this, not I'll kill you for this. Everyone makes mistakes, but we can let them define us. Dying for them, well, that's not way to live, is it? I don't want my country to be like that, so start over. Let's actually be friends this time. After all, you're my citizen. What? What are you talking about? I tried to kidnap you. Oh, don't worry about that. My country accepts anyone. Demons, humans, even beasts who've made one little mistake. Um... This girl's creeping me out. What does she want with me? I'm getting out of here. Yeah, nope. Hey, wait! Well, lovely as what you said was. I kinda get where the beast was coming from. What? How come? Um, you kinda come on a little strong. Sorry, I just really wanna make friends. 
Well, I'm just glad everyone's okay. Now, let's get back to Yun again. I'll accompany you in, in case any other monsters turn up. Thank you. I already picked the flowers I was after, so I was on my way home anyway. I don't get it, but fine. Let's go. Okay. Let's return. Okay, right here, and it gets completed. <coughs> nice. Uh, let me get some water. There. Done. <coughs> there we go. It's so pretty. Yeah, it is. The flowers themselves, the colors, the arrangement. You've really done them justice. It's perfect. Do you really know what you're talking about? Yeah, I used to do flower arranging. I made loads of arrangements. Really? You got a lot more in common than I thought. Yeah, but... You still won't become my citizen, will you? Your country... maybe isn't so bad after all. Huh? Are you sure about this? I don't really know what you mean by citizen. But I realized when you were talking to that piece, you're a good person. And you're pretty cool. Besides, no flower level can ever be bad. I bet you give flowers the respect they deserve in your country. We do. And I don't need to stop being Miglensian. And I'd really like it if we could be friends. Yay, I'd really like that too. Thank you. She made a friend. You're welcome. Okay, I'd better get going. But come see me sometime. You'll find me tending to the flowers in town. <coughs> I will. So that went well. Yeah, I made a first step in this city. This is a day to be remembered. I should keep up the pace and get myself some more citizens. I absolutely have to achieve my ambition. Who should I pick next? Me, you. Hello. Oh, how about her? She's so pretty. And not just that, there's nothing familiar about her. I can't quite put my finger on it. We're gonna make the best of friends. She'll be my citizen. Wait, is that me? You, Sukiha, stop. She's. Shucks, she can hear me. Nope. <laughs> it's gonna be a bumpy road ahead. Okay. Quest complete. <clears throat> um, okay. What's the carriage, by the way? What's this about? This wasn't here before. What a splendid carriage indeed. Analysis of the crest and on it shows it belongs to the Miglan's monarchy, a carriage of full royalty. Is that so? Well, no wonder it is decorated with such finery. Cyrus, consider distancing yourself from the vicinity. It will be unbeneficial to anger the owner by getting it dirty. Oh, well, yes, yes, of course. I don't ever remember seeing a carriage here before, though. <coughs> well, if it isn't Master Aldo and his travel acquaintances. I hear a word of your brave exploits in the battle against the beast. Um, sorry, who are you? I serve the King, Mi the King Miglens. My duty is to drive this carriage. 
I look forward to making your acquaintance again in the near future. But enough of the pleasantries, I bring news. After the struggles of the long war and facing what we consider to be permanent closure, the Royal Theatre of Midlands. Our beloved theatre has finally been restored to its former glory. It is just so marvelous, perhaps even grander than before. But not just the building. All of the suspense filled, excitement packed, and utterly ex exquisite plays are back too. It would be an honor if you too would grace us with your presence at the theater. You will not be disappointed. I'm guessing most plays at the theater in this time would be operas, right? My word, you have knowledge of the operetta. You're, a you're accompanied with such by such culture friends, Aldo. If you so desire, I wish nothing more than to take you there via carriage this very moment. You wanna give us a lift to the theater in that card, right? It will be an honor and a privilege. The theater sounds interesting. Besides, it's not like you get to ride in a horse drawn carriage every day. All you need to do is make your voice heard, and I shall do everything in my power to escort you safely there. Um, okay, so we just come talk to you if we gonna if we wanna go to the theater. Got it. Okay, so it's a theater. Um, alright. We're going to do the two character quests that we have left, and then we check out the theater. Alright, so for this we have to go to the future, for both of these. And one is in Nelson. Yeah. Okay. Now, what is this? Ah, yeah. We're going to leave that. <clears throat> but we're going to do this one. His Mena's quest. While set scene in Elsion, His Mena meets a young girl whose words has, whose words spur something within her. His Mena. Let's go. Hmm, this is not that much different at first glance. But I suppose this is indeed not quite the same as the Elsion I know. Oh. Whoa, sorry. Ah, my ice cream. Honestly, I told you not to run. Such fine clothing too. I'm so terribly sorry. Hey, please, there is no need. It really is no problem. No, please, let me make it up to you. I wouldn't feel right otherwise. Clothes are only frippery. Frippery? Nah. I have plenty of spares. Besides, these garments are made with a special weave. This won't be enough to leave a stain. Clean it up. Perfect. See? A simple pass with a handkerchief and the mess is gone. Wow, you're right. Amazing, isn't it? Here, madam. Please use your money to buy a replacement for the treat, my clothing aid, if you would. Thank you. Okay, let's go get you another. What do we say to the nice young lady, hmm? Thanks a lot, lady. Do be more careful, too. You shouldn't run with food. Perhaps you should simply buy two in the future, just in case you drop another one. Buy two? Ah, a reaction. Ah, nothing. <clears throat> a pleasant day to you. That was simply too close. I said something outrageous. I hope they didn't think me strange. Still, it was a good opportunity to learn how ordinary citizens feel about money. Yes, indeed. Ice cream is more expensive than clothing. Hey, miss. Ah. I saw what happened back there. You came up super refined and cool. She gave me a fright. 
It's kind of out to from behind the style these days. Back there, did you mean with that young boy? Mama and Papa are always saying I need to be more refined. But I just can't manage it. Not the way you can. Oh dear, your parents sound rather strict. But it was the same, you know? My brain is the result of many years of strict training and upbringing. Uh, uh huh. Socializing, studying, intensive schooling in any and all pursuits deemed appropriate for a young lady. In other words, I was taught how to be a proper and refined lady as I grew up. Wow, that's cool. Oh, look at the time. I gotta get going. Uh, do you have a lesson to attend, perhaps? <laughs> Not today. Today I'm playing with my friends. Playing with friends? Oh, a match of chess? Or perhaps Rich? No, no, an online game. There's a big raid event in the industrial ruins today. A new friend I just made invited me to come along. Online game? A friend? Wait just a moment, by that you mean... I snuck out so mama wouldn't catch me. I really gotta go now. See ya, miss. <laughs> Kids. No, Hismena, you came here for a specific purpose, to observe. But what she said... I cannot help but wonder. My investigation will have to wait. Now, where did she go? She mentioned the industrial ruins. Oh, is this a map? Hmm. Um, perhaps I should go to this place labeled airport? Yes, that must be it. To the airport, then. To the airport. Hmm. Alright. Learn the Moonlight Flower's real name. Okay. Another achievement just like that. So, the airport, you say? Yeah, all the way down there. And there's two cats. I don't think they were there before. Okay. Hold on. Yeah. <clears throat> they are new. These are new guests that just appear out of nowhere. Okay. Battle. So, down we go. Down here. What is this? Ah, the Friday the Fraction of Slaps. Okay. I remember. Okay. Okay. And there we go. We continue. All right, here we are. Right here. <coughs> All right. Hmm. To be the head of the Luna Bright family is to make decisions day in and day out. And sometimes those decisions may be mistaken ones. What is important in those moments is to admit one's failing, determine the cause and strive to improve. Yes indeed, I admit I am lost. Well then, <laughs> at least you admit it. Honestly, not a single flight up to these industrial ruins at all. 
But of course, why would there be flats running to a ruined area to begin with? Ah, what a failure. I do not even know how to return to where I was. I suppose I could ask for help, but the shame it would bring to the family. Wait, over there. Oh, hello. Pardon me, sir. May I have a moment? Me? Uh, sure. Is that to own your property? This? No, this is a general use in port transport drone. There's no way I broke a... A broke low-level lover like me could ever afford his own drone. I see. May I ask one more thing? Is there a store here in Elsion that sells drones like this? Yeah, I think so. You can probably find one in the Gamma District. Thank you very much. This is not much, but please, accept this as a token of my gratitude to you. Money. This coin is stamped with the crest of my family. We present them to those to whom we owe a debt. Uh, sure. Thanks. Now then, I must return to Elsion. Allow me one final thing. You are no low level anything, my good sir. Huh? It is the hard work and effort of those in unglamorous positions that build the foundation of society. You are a proud laborer. Please do not forget that. Huh. I was just in the other direction. <laughs> okay. Never mind. What a weird lady. Felt like she was pretty sheltered. But, uh huh. I guess even someone like me should have more pride. Hmm. <laughs> Ready to that? How long has it been since anyone has even thanked me? Wait a minute. What the? This is pure gold. How much is this even worth? If I exchange this, I can live the higher life for a while. Screw being a proud laborer. I need money. I want money. <laughs> okay. Return to Elsion. Don't get lost. Uh, okay, see it behind the icon here. I think that's the, the icon. Yeah, there it is. Hmm. Well, I made it back, and I accomplished my goal as well. What a brilliant idea, if I do say so myself. If I don't know the way, I will simply ask. This drone with its built-in navigation system will show me the way with no problems at all. That said, I know nothing about drones. I hope buying the most expensive one will be good enough. <clears throat> good day. I'm Hismena. Um, could you please escort me to the industrial ruins, if you would? Watch your connection systems on. Registering Hismena as owner. Updating map data. Navigation on. Calculating road, uh, route from Elsion to the industrial ruins. It's working. Wonderful. Please lead the way. This time I'll reach the correct location for sure. Okay. Well then, we are now with Aldo. Hmm, hearing a lot of weird rumors around here lately. A rich girl walking around in fancy clothes, buying expensive things and handing out treasures. And now they say she's going to the industrial ruins. Something sounds fishy here. Maybe I should... Follow the girl to industrial ruins properly this time. Okay. Uh, not here. The industrial ruin is here. How far do we need to go? 
Ah, not too far. Good. Just by the entrance. Are these the industrial ruins? Certainly not a place a child should be playing in, I think. Yep. That was a child's scream. Could it be that girl? This place is too big. I have no idea where she could be. I mustn't be reckless. Think, Hismena. What can you do right now? You're no longer a weak, helpless Harris who cannot do anything by herself. Ooh. Ah, uh, Synth human. Are you my friend? Huh, <laughs> stupid brat. That was obviously a trap. But I... I thought I finally managed to make a friend. Maybe you don't get the situation. You're a hostage now, so act like it. <coughs> no, stop it. That's quite enough. Ah, okay. Oh, you're that lady from earlier. Thank goodness I made it in time. Are you hurt, young lady? No, I'm fine. Now I know your face. You're his mena. Harris to the Luna Bright family, aren't you? My, I'm surprised you know. You're well informed for a synth human. Of course I know. I know all the names of Elsie's richest families, and their family charts too. Making the rich and powerful kneel is the best way to get our revenge on Elsion, after all. Is that why you targeted this girl? Going so far as to pose as a fan on an online game? All the rich and powerful families are too paranoid. They couldn't get a handle on any of them. But this dumb little kid was a totally different story. She came right over as soon as I sent her an invite. Hmm. And you're no better, his men are Luna Bright. I was planning to go after you eventually, but you really saved me the trouble by coming here yourself. I see. That's a shame. You give up fast. I guess all that fancy school, uh, schooling made you smarter than the average kid. Please don't misunderstand. I find it a shame that you don't seem amenable to a peaceful resolution. What are you talking about? The court of House Luna Bright. When at all possible, conflict ought to be medi mediated through peaceful dialogue. Dialogue. If such a medi mediation proves impossible, however, only then shall force be considered. And when using force, strive for total victory. What? My search bit? Hurry, this way. Hey. So you not only have a navigation function, you even have a bioscan scan capable of locating a lost child. And of course, powerful weaponry. How useful, as a specter of a high-end model. How? When did you? You were so eager for a chat simply to make sure no one had followed me here, am I correct? To make sure no one had followed me here, am I correct? Unfortunately for you, in that time I was able to prepare this drone for combat use. You make me sick. High and model, huh? It sure looks expensive. Ah. But in the end, all it proves is that without something to throw money at, you're helpless. I see you don't understand. The drone did almost nothing. I was the one who destroyed your beats and rescued the hostage. When used properly, money can be more powerful than strength of arms. But in the end, I only need my strength of arms to handle you. Fine then, I'll just kill you, and show the rest of Elsion that I'm not screwing around. Don't do it, miss. You can beat him. Oh, I assure you I can. I can and I must. No matter who my face, I must win on my own. Miss? There she is. And you are? Amaldo, I've been looking for you. But given what's going on... Reinforcements, huh? One more human isn't going to change a thing, you know? I'll crush you both and get my hostage back. Hostage? Sounds like something bad's going on. Let's defeat this guy first, together. Together? There's no need. 
Hmm, I suppose now is no time to be stubborn. You there, are you prepared to fall? There we go. <laughs> Easy. I surrender. Please, no more. Well, well. Why did all of your earlier fire and fury disappear too? <clears throat> I'll never do it again. I swear. Please just spare my life. You won't get a third chance. Uphold that vow you just made. But hold it somewhere far from here. I will. I will. Leave. And then come back. Are you sure that was a good idea? He's a bad guy, isn't he? Running down an opponent who has admitted defeat would be a would be base and vulgar conduct. However, well then, so uh, from behind. What? How did he? How did you know? I used the the pipes. When facing a base and vulgar opponent who would immediately break his vow, it is acceptable. <laughs> well then. Wow, you took him down with just one strike. How did you know where he was? It was simple. I became familiar with this area while I was running around looking for the girl. As for how I knew he would strike at us from behind, his tone of voice said it all. Wow, I didn't hear it at all. That was so scary. Now, now, don't cry. You're a proper lady, remember? Here, a handkerchief. Wipe your face now. Let's both compose ourselves. <coughs> Thank you. Mama and Papa are gonna yell at me. Having people who will worry for your sake in times like this is in itself a blessing. Huh? Okay, let's go back to Elsion. Let's return. Oh, right here. Nice. Thank goodness we made it back without any further unpleasantness. And unpleasantness, yeah. Uh, I almost expected to get attacked again on the way. Yes, that's what I meant. I certainly can admit I'm merely proud to have found my way back even with the drone destroyed. Thanks a whole lot, miss. I was really full there. Yes, indeed. You have to learn to have less faith in others, I think. Uh, hang on there. However, only in the sense that blind trust can make it difficult to truly get to know someone. So long as you're careful, someday you will meet friends you can truly know and trust. I promise. Um, okay. I think I get it. Oh, wait. Actually, what did you come after me anyway, miss? Huh? Oh, well. Was it because you were worried about, the, about her? No, actually... I had no idea what those ruins were such a dangerous location. You didn't? Then why? I've been looking everywhere for you, young mistress. Ah, uh, Jeeves. Jeeves? You don't look like a Jeeves. I'm simply her minder. A butler, one may say. Young mistress, you mustn't run off on your own. You've caused your own or family no end of worry. I knew it. You must be more mindful. Friends, family or no, you're the only daughter of the Sand family. Huh? Wait, the Sand family? This girl? You must be Lady Hismena of the Luna Bright family, yes? Do you know me? But of course, you may be wearing different clothing than usual, but it suits you just as well as always. 
More importantly, I see you have been looking after our young mistress. Thank you for your consideration. Wait just a moment. I'm afraid there's been a misunderstanding. We were simply... There's no need to travel yourself. I will inquire to my mistress as to what transpired. As you're aware, the family head is a conscientious man. This debt shall not go unpaid. Now come along, young mistress. See you later, miss. Let's hang out again sometime. Mister shall not go unpaid, huh? He sure was nice. You have it wrong. What that means is... How dare you trouble our precious Harris? We won't forget or forgive this insult, Lona Bright. Wait, really? But that's totally the opposite of what he said. It's all just a big misunderstanding, right? You just explained that you rescued the girl. They wouldn't believe me with no proof to show of it. If anything, it could worsen their mood. The Luna Bright and Sand families are mercantile rivals. I have no desire to spark further conflict. Is that really how it works? Uh, I fear I've gone and caused trouble for the Luna Bright name in this world. Uh. Huh? This world? I suppose you would be kind enough to believe me. The truth is, I... You're from a different world. You came from a different world? Yes, it's the truth. I was sucked into some strange vortex, and when I came back to myself, I was here. History didn't play out here in the same way it did in the world I came from. It's different for certain. That's a shock. So are you looking for a way to get home? Not in particular. Why waste this opportunity to learn as much as I can about this different world of yours? There must be so much to see. You're really the curious type. Okay, got it. I'll help you out too. Help me out? Having a guide wouldn't hurt, right? Maybe that's too much? I don't want to impose. No, I gratefully accept. Whoa. Take this coin as a reward. No, as a sign of gratitude. Do let me know if you want more. No need to thank me. I offered because I wanted to. You don't want it? Yeah, so you know, there are rumors you're going around town of a well-dressed lady giving out treasure. Rumors? Oh dear, I was careless. Here I intended not to stand out. That's why I came here too, actually. You really shouldn't go around giving out valuable coins. You might attract unwanted attention. It's only a simple thank you. You sound just like him. Who's him? I have to say, I didn't think you would be that excited. Did you get lost earlier or something? Oh, of course I didn't. It's simply that I uh, disregarded the kindness of all this improper behavior of a lady. That's all. <laughs> I see. Oh, so the other thing. Why did you go after that girl? I... Forgive me, I'm not at liberty to say. It's a confidential matter, and that's all I'm able to tell you. Really? That sounds rough. Yes, it is. But such is life of, for members of mercantile families. No, I can never tell you. No one must ever know that I only follow her to ask how to make friends online. <laughs> okay. Oh, his mana. All right. Quest complete. Nice. Okay. Uh, did I... Register the cats around this area? I did with this one. What about the other one? Right here in the corner. No, this one I didn't. Okay. Chain. Robocat. Okay. Um, okay. Let's take a break here before moving on to CL's story quest. We're going to take a break uh, here. Just the usual, just gotta go, get something to eat. Uh, I 
drink and all of that, stretch up a little bit, and we'll return and continue with the twin quest, okay? Alright. See you in a couple of minutes.
Okay. All right. <clears throat> okay, I am back. I have returned. Breaks over. I have eaten. Stretch. And now I'm back. So let's return to the game. <clears throat> Shall we? Um. Okay. Okay, there we go. All right, all good. Okay. Uh, now then, we left it. We have left to do on guide request to do a CL's quest. So we need to put CL in the team. To do this. And if I remember, we need to go to Lauladon. Yeah. Let's go. Okay. Dan's party that CL used to attend is being held again this year. He's nostalgic about the event, but something's up. <coughs> oh. Bro, look at this. Right. Huh, what is it? A flyer for a dance competition? Love festival. There's a traditional dance party in this town. When I was younger, I used to be in the chorus of a musical troupe, you know? We used to perform here. That's pretty cool. So is there a meaning in the name? Of course, it's said that if you dance with someone, it'll grow into a wonderful love. <coughs> oh look, they're performing this year too. Ah, I love those times in the troupe. So, shall we go see them? What? No, we can't. You really don't have to. Don't worry about it. They're old friends of yours, right? Of course we should go see them. Okay, thanks, big bro. They should already be here in town. Big bro. Alright. <clears throat> okay. We go outside. Near the inn. Oh, CL, that's you, isn't it? Long time no see. Ah, long time no see. You look well. Who's this nice young man? You always find the good one, CL. It's not like that. Aldo's my... my big bro... Uh, you'll get there eventually. <laughs> oh, are you blushing? You're always so cute. Seal, you're turning red. Are you alright? He's shy. Are you both here for the party as well? Oh yes, I hope the party's a success this year. Actually, there's a problem with that. We ordered our costumes from a dressmaker in town, but it's getting late and they're still not finished. At this rate, we won't be ready for the show. Oh no, that won't do. It's coming up soon, isn't it? Right. Hey, CL. I don't suppose you could go see what's happening? <coughs> I guess. After all, it's for the party. Maybe something happened and that's why they're still not ready. In which case, we should go over there and see what's what. Hmm. Hey, are you the dressmaker? That's right. Did you want something? 
Well, I'm here about an order for some costumes. Costumes? You mean for those performers? <coughs> you know, seeing someone as pretty as you is inspiring me to design something for you. Pretty? You do know I'm a boy, don't you? <laughs> no need for jokes, there's no way you're a boy. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. He is. I know I don't look particularly manly, but believe me, I'm a guy. But if you want to make a dress for me, I might just try it on. If you want to try on a dress? A cute dress. What? Of course. Why can't a guy want to wear something cute? Why not? Any problem with that? Well, I just never address. Really? Oh. Well, brother, I guess you are too cold. A cute dress really wouldn't suit you. And don't worry about me. See, is basically like a stolfo. Just wants to be cute. Anyway, why not here for dresses for us? They're for the performers. Oh, those costumes. Sorry, but material for them is very expensive, and I'm afraid I'm all out. Which is why you're running behind. What do you need? I need something called Wisdom Whiskers. The Wisdom Worm is very rare. Wisdom Worm. I've heard of that. They make the finest silk thread in the world. Right, but they've been getting rarer lately. It's getting hard to find sellers. I can imagine. Even in my time, they were only used for making royal garments. Huh. Bro, you know about these worms? Hmm, I guess so. It's not like I'd ever own anything made of their silk, though. Then, if we were to go back to your time, they'd still be around. Oh, of course, that could work. Hmm, I'm not sure what you mean about times, but are you saying you'll get some for us? <coughs> yeah, just leave it with us. We'll get what you need. Alright, oh, I knew you'd come through for them. So where can we find these worms? I guess if we can just buy them in the shop. Right, but we should find some in the Moonlight Forest. Okay. <clears throat> Moonlight Forest. Eh, uh, here. Moonlight Forest. I think we should find them somewhere around here. Wow, we're bound to find lots of worms this deep in the forest. <coughs> I don't know about that. Even in this time, they are super valuable. I think the fact that they live in limited areas is one of the reasons why. What are the reasons? What other reasons could there be? Nah, I think I found one. If that was a monster? No, it might be just what we're looking for. What? What are you... Hmm. Monster? This monster is stronger than it looks. Wisdom worms are really weak. Like, they're always at risk of dying weak. So they've learned to attach themselves to more powerful creatures. You mean this monster? Then that means the worms should be somewhere close. Ah, but first we should take care of this monster, don't you think? <coughs> okay. Mm. Yeah, we're good. No need to use skills. Yes, if, if this is it, too easy. Even if it's level 30, it's still too easy. Okay, I can do that. Alright, let's get those wisdom whiskers. 
Okay. Wait, is that shining ball of thread? Oh, that's it. Well spotted, CL. <laughs> now we can make the costumes. Cool. Now we return. Laula Dome. No, oh, and this we are done. Character quest finished. Oh, it's the Wisdom Whiskers. Now will you be able to make the costumes? Absolutely. I'll make the best costumes you'll ever see. <clears throat> the man worked at an incredible pace and finished the costumes in no time. Well then. Okay, that's it. Sorry to keep you waiting. Well, this is his best work yet. Now we can go to the party. Thank you, CL. The Love Festival is sure to be a success now. By the way, there's something I've been meaning to ask. Why is this dance festival meant to bring people love? Well, men and women are together in a beautiful hall, dancing with each other. It would be weird if love didn't find its way there. Actually, since CL left the core, it's become nothing more than a folk tale. Oh. Huh? What do you mean? The sound of his voice would inspire love in the hearts of those who heard it. Almost like magic. Good night and take care. Okay, good night, Mono. Have a good sleep. It's for that reason that the people at the dance become infatuated with the dance partners. So it's because, we, because CL sings. But now he's not part of the troupe, so... That isn't happening anymore. So that's how this legend of love came about. Now just a festival. <laughs> Maybe I'll get to dance with you, bro. And he never realized it. Right, he didn't know what he was doing. He didn't know his own talent. Big bro, I hope we get to dance together. Well... He's excited for the festival. <coughs> okay. Father Shan level 2, stones and scrolls. Cool. And with that, the character quests are done. Alright. Okay. So now... Bring back Nekoko. <coughs> now, next on the list, we got the subquest. The sub quest, and we have two quests right here in the Laula Dome. So let's get to it. First off, let's start with you. Okay, a boy in Laula Dome is causing trouble for his uh, for his nanny. Listen to her problems. Quit nagging me. Leave me alone. What a troublesome child. What am I going to do with him? Your boy giving you trouble, ma'am? I'm afraid so. Hey, buddy. Don't be so selfish, alright? Don't treat me like a little kid. I'm sick of being told what to do. I'll decide what I want to do, and I'll do it alone. Otherwise, mom and dad will... Huh. Nothing. Never mind. Just quit nagging me, alright? I'm sick of it. <coughs> Your son's not exactly a shining beam of sunlight, is he? Actually, he's my nephew. He's just staying here with me for a while. His parents are both researchers in Elsian. They're very passionate about their work. Apparently, they're in rather high up positions as well. They evacuated him here to keep him out of danger. You know, what with all these inhuman attacks lately. I'm sure the boy misses his parents. It must be hard on him. <coughs> he seems to have got the idea that they sent him away because he was too much trouble. Hence his new independence streak. 
<clears throat> okay, let me get some water. <clears throat> okay. I see. Getting him to safety was a good idea. He'll be able to go home once all the fighting is over, right? Yes, I wish he could at least see his parents for a short time. That may make all the difference. Too bad Helsian's so far away. Indeed, and they're so busy with work, they're hard to get hold of sometimes. Oh, I have an idea. Could you go to Elsin and get his parents to record a message on a sound orb for him? A sound orb? Oh, like that thing Amy's mouth left her. Sure, I can do that. It's not good for kids to be lonely for too long. Thank you, young man. My sister's name is Garys, and her husband is Adam. Garys and Adam. Got it. I'll start by asking around in the bar in Elsin for more info. <clears throat> okay. Let's go. All right. Uh, what's this icon here? By the way. Hmm. <coughs> Something on your mind? Um, not really. Marusuya has just hit a snack. What sort of research is it? Cooking research. I'm looking into new and more efficient ways for people to absorb nutrients. Nah. But there's this one dish I just can't seem to improve. I see, can I help? Maybe. Could I ask you to cook for me? You want me to cook? Yes, I'm all caught up in my theories. Seeing how an ordinary person makes this dish might open up a new angle. Ah, I see what you mean. Is it something we can make? Ever made sausage before? Oh yeah, leave it to me. The place is yours, to use as you see fit. Hmm, okay. Thanks in advance. And the first ingredient is... Uh, shining rice. And next is... Uh, I don't know, it's been a long time since I saw that recipe. <laughs> On the game. <coughs> it has been a long time. Well, pork. Strong beef, rock chicken. Pork. And finally... I don't know. Pepper? I don't know. Maybe. I, uh, I don't know. There, it's done. Thank you. Let me see. Mm, I knew it. The ingredients lose nutrients value when cut. <coughs> you can really use them without cutting them up, though. I thought it might be worth a try, or with ordinary methods. Want me to ask around? Maybe there is a way. You'd do that much for me? I really don't want to trouble you. We've come this far together. I like to help see things through. I understand. Thank you. Okay, I guess that's a little thing to do. On the side. I suppose. Anyway. Hey, Barkeep. You know anything about a pair of researchers named Garys and Adam? Is this a missing person's case? Sorry, buddy. I never heard of either of them. That's too bad. I really need to get in contact with them. Did you say Gary and Adam? They were part of my team. Really? Could you tell me where to find them right now? Well, they sent me an email a little while ago asking for the passcode to enter the Sieno domain. I thought the Sieno domain was off limits to most people. Where are they allowed to go in? We researchers can apply to enter for short periods at a time, if we have the right out authorization. That place still contains a lot of our proprietary research data. Those two may have gone to extract it. 
In that case, they may still be there now. I'd better go check. Thanks for the help, sir. <clears throat> no problem. Okay. And what's this? Your icon is also different. There's something I'd like your advice on, if that's okay. Sure, what is it? Well, you see... I see, so it's about the cutting method, is it? My advice would be to make sure you cut down fast. Fast? Yeah, I don't know anything about nutrients or whatever, uh, or what have you. My fast keeps the food from getting crushed. Nicely, I'll give it a try. Thanks. Okay. I guess. He... Okay. Um, alright. Moving on to the Shinno Domain, of all places. Now, where do we find you? In progress. Let's put it as a priority. So that it appears on the map. Or not, I guess. They have to be somewhere. They have to be somewhere in the domain. There it is. We get into battle first. Okay. Uh oh, those people over there are getting attacked by a robot. Are you alright? Don't worry, I'll take this thing down. No, please, wait. That robot is our ally. Oh, really? We're destined its function to send out jamming signals to disrupt synth human systems. When this job is finished, it should be safe enough to bring him back. Oh, you two must be Keris and Adam, right? Yes, how do you know our names? <coughs> Your sister sent me to find you and ask for you a favor. A favor from us? Sorry, could you wait a moment before telling us more? We're very busy right now. We still need to adjust and properly balance the robot settings. We want to complete this project as soon as we possibly can, you see. Jamming wave output level steady at 100%. No problems here. It won't be long until we're ready to implement this in the field. Are you finished? Not yet. There still is Recon and early warning systems to test. The industrial sector should provide a good environment for that. It's dangerous to go alone. Take me with you. The shaman robot should be all the protection we need. You have to prepare against any eventuality, though. You can count on me. Okay. The industrial sector.
Hmm. Okay. Not here. Uh. Moving on. Okay. So here. This looks like a good spot. We should get some useful data from here. I agree. Let's begin with the reconnaissance function. Recon system engage. Collecting environmental data. Mapping virtual model. Referencing object database. Enemies detected in immediate vicinity. What? <coughs> there are enemies here? Hmm, I thought I heard a lot of useless prattling. What a surprise, humans. A synth human. Ten men and women are on, are on our high priority extermination list, are they not? It looks like it was worth infiltrating this facility after all. Everybody still go. This jamming signal will stop it in its tracks. Jamming system activated. Output level 100%. Neutralizing enemy offensive capabilities. Was that supposed to be impressive? A little jamming wave like that won't be enough to stop me. <clears throat> I must say, I'm disappointed. I thought the fruits of your human knowledge will pose more of a, of a challenge. What's going on? The jamming signal didn't affect it at all. Get back, you two. I'll take care of this guy. Sing, soldier. Easy. Turn one. All right. Well, that was embarrassing. Looks like we still have a lot of room for improvement. There's no way we can take care of our son while the chances of attacks are still so high. Hey, I get that your research is important, but your son really misses you. Your sister wanted me to ask you to record a sound or message for the little guy. Oh, that's what this was all about. We've been working around the clock lately and haven't had a chance to call. Giving him a better life is the reason we work so hard, but I guess that may be tricky for a child to understand. Recording a message sounds like a good idea. We have to let him know just how much he means to us. Let's do it. Recorded the message. Please, give this to our son. And give my sister a thanks for taking care of him. Sure thing. I'll see to it that he gets this. Alright. Then we return to the dome. And with this, we complete the quest. Easy. Ah, you're back. Did you get the sound or message? Sure did. Straight from his parents' mouths. I don't know how to thank you. Will you show it to him? What? What? You better have a good reason for bothering me. I have a sound over here from your mom and dad. Want to hear it? Really? Yes, please, let me have it. I'll just play it back now. Is this thing on? Hello, honey. I'm sure we haven't been able to call you in a while. Are you alright? Are you eating your veggies? Be a good boy for your aunt, okay? Your mom and I are doing our best to make Elsion a safe place, so we can all live here together in peace. Once we finish this job, we'll come get you right away, I promise. Just be patient for a little longer. I can't wait to hear about the fun you've been having and the new friends you've made. The other day I found a picture you drew back when you were little. It reminded me of the time. 
at the time. You listen to the end of the message. I'll speak to you later, and I promise it won't take so long next time. Honey, you're the most important thing in the world to us. Don't forget that. Lots of love and kisses, Mom and Dad. Mom, Dad. You may not have realized, but your parents always put you first. Do you think you can wait some more until they come get you? Yeah. Good boy. Thank you again, kind travelers. Come along now. Right, I should go say hi to Gramps now and again as well. Alright, 30 stones. Nice. <clears throat> Um, okay. Now there's another quest here in the dome. Helping in the fields, I think it was. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. What's this one? Hmm, okay. Let's go to the one over here. The one on the fields. I have been out in the wheat fields, Savannah feels a strange presence. Listen to what Savannah has to say. Alrighty. Let's go. Even in the future, people still tend feels like in the old days. That's right. Thank you for noticing. Who are you? My name is Savannah. I'm in charge of caring for these crops. Namaldo, nice to meet you. These fields are in great condition. I bet you'll get a good harvest out of them. I hope so, too. If nothing goes wrong, that is. What could go wrong? Have you been having problems? Lately, when I'm out in the fields, I feel like I'm being watched. But whenever I look around, there's no sign of anyone. Maybe it's just in my imagination. Sounds strange, alright. Farm is hard enough without extra worries. I'll see if I can do something about it. You will? Thank you. I feel better already. The feeling of being watched. First up, let's gather some intel in town. Okay. What's that? You want to know about the wheat fields? Sarana has been tending them all alone since her husband died. She has it tough, no doubt. A lot of tragedy for one so young. Hmm. Sarana, the farmer. It must be hard for her working in the fields by herself. What's that? A stalker? I'm gonna say I've seen. <coughs> Sorry. My boss is dying already. What's that? A stalker? I'm gonna say I've seen anyone suspicious. Maybe some kind of monster? Hmm. Okay. Creepers in the fields? Nah, I haven't seen anyone like that. Looks like hard work, though. Dank... Dankus? Dankus? Eh. She helps around out sometime. He's a big strong fella and all. Uh, how about you say that name, I guess? Serena's husband passed away. That must be pretty tough. And this mysterious stalker can't be helping either. I say we stay out the fields and catch whoever it is in the act. Okay. There we go. That looks like a good spot to stand watch over there. I hope we find whoever's best to Sarana soon. Hmm. 
Nothing. Maybe it was just her imagination after all. You hear strange sounds from the fields. What was that noise? <coughs> hmm. Target acquired. Initiating dispersal. There's a inhuman search bit. What's it doing here? I don't know what you're trying to do, but I won't let you mess with these fields. Ooh, three of them. Ah, we're good. Not easy use skills. Yeah, there we go. Not bad. <clears throat> I think those monsters were the ones who've been watching Sarana. I'm not totally convinced, but I guess we should go tell her about this anyway. You hear strange sounds from the fields. Another search bit. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Ah! Oh, it's just some guy from town. Sorry to find you, buddy. But it looks like we found our stalker. What's the deal? I heard you've been spying on Sarana. Please don't tell her it was me. No way. She has a right to know. She's been really honest because of your shenanigans. You don't have to tell her. Make something up. Please, I'm begging you. You're in no position to negotiate. Just who are you, anyway? My name is Tankas. I own the field next door. I seen Sarana working hard all alone and I wanted to do something to help. So I decided to tend to her crops here and there in secret. Why in secret? If you felt like you needed to hide it, you must have had some ulterior motive. I just thought if I stepped in and offered help so soon after her husband passed, she'd get the wrong idea. No, oh, okay. But don't you think sneaking around like this is even more shady? You're making her really uncomfortable. I didn't know. Jeez. Look, I'll come up with some story for Sarana. Just quit sneaking around. Come right out and talk to her like a normal person. It's your son than done. You got a problem? No, sorry, thank you. I'll take your advice. And you promise not to tell Sarana about my uh, indiscretion? Well, we got to tell Sarana something. A search speed explanation is believable enough, I'll give that a try. Okay. We complete the mission here. Did you find out anything? Uh, yeah, we found a synth human search speed in your field. It was probably that thing all along. Synth human tech, I see. So, I heard your husband passed away recently. Oh, yes. He went to Elsian for a business trip and got caught up in a synth human attack. I inherited these fields from him. They're all I have to remember him by. Sorry for your loss. It seems like a lot of work to tend the fields on your own. Is there anyone you could ask to help out? These fields were mine and my husband's. I wanted to care for them with my own hands. I get how you must feel, but don't you think it'll defeat the purpose if you exhaust yourself and the fields go to waste? There's something in that. Getting help makes logical sense, but... In any case, thank you for setting my mind at ease. At least now I can work in peace. This might be harder than I thought. Oh well. We completed the quest. Hmm, okay. There's a new one. New quest here. Uh, here. The field Serena was working in are going barren. Listen to what Serena has to say. Okay. So it's a continuation. Okay. <clears throat> uh, let me sell all the items that we got so far. Before I forget. 
There we go. Uh, lots of stuff. That's for sure. Wizard stuff. The okay. Okay. Hmm. Can't don't make anything, but okay. Hey, all right. Let's continue the story quest. This little uh, story. Oh, hey, Dankes. How are you doing? Don't worry. Serena doesn't know you've been helping her crops. Thanks for looking the other way. I owe you big time. Don't sweat it. You didn't mean any harm. I understand that. No, but you have been at Serena some more. I talked to her and she's determined to keep working alone. She can be pretty stubborn, huh? I guess so. I thought she might feel that way. It's nothing the matter. Here's the deal. Serenas feels her in exactly in great condition. How do you mean? Is she doing something wrong? Not exactly. It's just that she's insisting on doing things the way her husband always did. Oh, right. And his methods weren't very good. They were founded on somewhat outdated ideas. These days there are much more efficient alternatives. Are you trying to tell Serana about this? Of course, I may have been a little indelicate. She did want to hear it. But maybe she listened to you, after all you've done for her already. Gosh, I don't really feel qualified to lecture people on farming techniques. I do want to help though. I'll see if I can work it into conversation. Very well then. Let's go. Hi there, Aldo. Good to see you again. Yeah, I just happen to be in the neighborhood. How are your fields? To be honest, the crops aren't growing as well as I'd like. I don't understand it. I've been doing everything just like my husband did. Oh, that's too bad. Have you thought about trying some different techniques? I would, but apparently these crops are a special strain. It's a little different from regular wheat. Hmm... My husband knew just how to handle it, so I want to stick with that with what I know works. Sure, but... I know what you're going to say, but I'd really like to continue with his methods for at least a little longer. Oh, I see. Well, there's that. She's a stubborn one, alright? I mean, we'll probably, probably make things work. Maybe Dankus will have some new ideas. Well then... Let's see. Going back and forth. How is Rana doing? She is still insisting on sticking with her husband's old techniques. I don't think anything I can say will convince her at this point. I see. At this rate, her crops are only going to get worse. What exactly is the problem with them? Probably the biggest issue is best. The Lala Dome is a cultivation center, so bugs and, rats are, bugs and rats are always at risk. Serena just isn't doing enough to protect her crops. I'm sure her husband's techniques work well enough in his day, but now... I see. How do you deal with pests in your fields? There are some pesticides that are very effective at getting rid of them. The downside is they affect the quality of the crop a little, too. And Serena doesn't use anything like that. I don't think so. It just kills me to see those fields going to ruin. I might just go ahead and spray them myself at this rate. Serena would really hate you if you did. If it saves our fields, that's a price I'm willing to pay. Okay. In that case, I'll help you. You will? Oh, there's a problem though. One of the components... Is one of the components we need is a Nanaba herb, which grows on Las Island, thousands of miles from here. 
Just leaving up into our storehouses, but she has been disrupted lately, so we are all out. No worries, that kind of thing is right up my alley. I'll go to the island, knock a few heads, and be back before you know it. Alright. Hmm, we need four. Okay, we need four. Nanaba, okay. Um, okay. We got a one. Nice. Three more. Okay, that's not what I'm looking for. Okay. Now oh, there we go, another one. Have we done then? We just need two more. Okay, there we go. Easy. There's the two that we need. We got it. Uh, we also got two achievements. Didn't really battle a lot in this area, so... Didn't encounter all the enemies. But well. Let's go. Oh, this completes the quest. Okay. Easy. I'm back. Here are the herbs. Thanks. I'll make the best decide right away. It's done. Let's split up. We'll cover more ground that way. Got it. I'll get started right away. Spray the pesticide over the crops. That should do the trick for this part of the fields. There's still some left over there. I'll go handle it. So just spraying the fields like this gives bugs away. Pretty impressive. What are you doing? Whoa, uh, oh, hi, Serana. I just dropped in to make sure you hadn't had any more salt problems. Oh, how kind. Thank you for dropping by. I'm doing just fine. My crops, on the other hand, speaking as a farmer's wife, I'm ashamed. Don't say that. They look great to me. <laughs> if Yankas get spotted now, Serana will start to suspect me, to suspect me too. I have to think of some way to divert her attention. I didn't realize she was such an authority on agriculture, Aldo. Well, I've helped out with it now and then. Really? What was this? I thought the Laoletum was the only cultivated land on the surface. Oh no, there's others. I was somewhere else. What exactly? I'd love to hear more. Oh, back up a minute. I'm trying to remember the name. Although, what do you think you're doing, getting all chummy with Sarana? I feel someone's case putting a hole in my back. I need to get out of here. Huh, is there something going on behind you, Aldo? Nope, nothing at all. How about I tell you all this huge mess I got into back in my farm hand days? Oh, sounds like fun. Okay, 
he left. Oh, I don't think she caught on. Was made the best to say so the club should be okay now. I should check in with Dankus and see if he has any other ideas. Okay. Alright. Mm, okay. Eh. I suppose if I need to just yes. go in and out. Yeah, there it is. Easy. <coughs> Sarana's work in the field was going well until something happened. Listen to what Sarana has to say. Hey Sarana, how are your crops doing? They are still not so great. I'm running out of ideas. Will you take a look at them, Aldo? I don't know. I'm not exactly an expert. I know, but I'd still like to get your opinion on the matter. She was just set against asking for help before. Maybe this is my chance. Mm, sure, I guess I owe you that much. One question though. Would you mind if I got input from a friend? Nangas will know something for sure. Uh, I guess so. Yes, please do. Let's go. Hello again. And there you have it. I see, so Sorana noticed the affliction on her crops too. I thought her fields had been looking less and less healthy. Is there anything we can do? The crops should last on their own a little longer, but after that I don't know. I recently lost all my reference material regarding plant diseases. I'm going to have to rebuild that knowledge from the ground up. In the meantime, I've been able to provide a quick fix to give us more time. I see you're still determined to help without letting her know. I had no choice. She never listened to my advice anyway. I thought something was up, so you're the one who's been helping my crops. No. Oh. She found out. Uh, Serana, I... Uh, that is... I know you did it with the best of intentions. But those fields are mine and my husband's. Never do that again. Sorry, I guess we shouldn't have talked about it in the open like this. Don't blame yourself. It was only a matter of time before she found us out. She was pretty mad. Here I thought she was finally ready to let someone in too. Really? Where'd you get that idea? When I talked to her before, she said she was getting desperate. So, what do we do now, Dankus? I can't bring myself to stop, even if Sarana will hate me for it. First, we have to identify the disease. Has she noticed anything? Even the smallest detail may help. I wish I still had my old books. I could narrow it down a lot faster with them. <coughs> old books. I may know a place where I can get us some more. Awesome. We'll rendezvous later and pull our resources. Why can't on books when I can get farming info straight from the source? Barwoki, here I come. I can probably ask Grandpa about this, for starters. Alright. Back to Barwoki then. Off we go. Hmm. <clears throat> um uh what happened <laughs> <clears throat> I think the the game froze I think hmm okay I think the game froze. So I think <coughs> uh, I will need to reopen the game. Hold on. <laughs> uh, technical difficulties, I guess.
the game just uh, decided to to froze right there. Uh, but I still want to finish the quest, so let's try to reopen the game. Okay, logging in. Okay. There we go. Let's do this. Okay. Let's finish this quest. And then I guess we can... Stop for today. Okay, there we go. But okay. Okay, there we go. Now it works. Okay. Hey, Grandpa, do you know anything about diseases that affect crops? A peculiar question coming from you. Taking up a new hobby, laddie? Kinda. A friend of mine has a weed field that's not looking so hot. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Got a bit of a hiccup. <coughs> I see. Well, this old codger knows a thing or two. Ask me anything you like. Well, it's like this. And that's the way things stand down. Hmm, this doesn't sound too good. Is the disease that serious? Even I've never heard of this particular ailment. From the sound of things, though, it's the kind of thing that spreads so fast it's hard to treat in time. How to put this, it's almost as if the fields themselves have been cursed. Do you think someone could be infecting the plants on purpose? Sad to say, but that would make sense. Thanks, Grandpa. I have to get back to Dankus. I'll tell you how it turns out later. Okay. And we go back. To the dome. I can't believe this. There's no way it should spread this fast. What do I do? What, should, what would he do if he was here now? Hey, did something happen? Aldo, we got trouble. The blight spread throughout the whole, the whole field. What? Can you treat it? Not while I still don't know what a disease is. At this rate, it could even spread beyond Savannah's crops to other fields too. How come? This isn't normal. Whatever the disease, it shouldn't spread this fast. Not unless someone intentionally dispersed the, path the pathogen. Dispersed? Wait. Target acquired. Initiating dispersal. That's a synth human search bit. What's it doing here? I don't know what you're trying to do, but I won't let you mess with this field. The search bit. So it was the same theme as all along. Did you figure something out? I found a same human drone here a while back. It was trying to spare something onto the fields. Those fiends! What a cool strategy. Isn't there anything we can do? Perhaps there is. Now we know who's behind it. I have a friend in Nelson who's researching the weapons synth human use. Also, they're dispersing nanomachines to attack and weaken the plants directly. They can do that? 
And according to the research, yes. They emitted the symptoms of disease, so well, they are hard to detect. But given your observation, I think we're on the right track. If you can utilize those nan nanomachines in time, the plants should recover on their own. I have an idea of how we could do that, but I don't have the right parts, and no one in town sells them either. Aldo, I'm gonna need your help. Just tell me what you need and where I can get them. No, but... What's wrong? This is not time to get cold feet. I know, but... If we use the measure I'm thinking of, it will probably change the taste of Sarana's wheat. That's not... That's not the kind of thing that will just come back after a season or two. It will destroy the unique flavor of the strain her husband spent so long cultivating. Sarana, this method is the most likely to succeed, but there are other ways. What do you want us to do? I... My own big head and nest got me into this mess. I don't think this is what my husband would have wanted. I was clinging to the past so hard I forgot about what really matters. Tankas, Aldo, please do whatever you think best. Please, save my fields. Serana. Aldo, the parts will need are in Seno Domain. Get me an excitation device from the Supreme uh, Aryan, uh, Aryan Rods that wander around the industrial sector. Shino Domain, Industrial Sector, Supreme Alien Road, Excitation Device. Got it. I'll get things ready here. I'll help. Thank you. Let's do this, team. Alrighty. Let's go. Let's go. Shino Domain, Industrial Ruins. Supreme Iron Rod, right here. But we get into a battle first. Okay, let's go. Hmm, okay. We got it. Excitation device obtained. And now we return. Alright, and with this we complete the mission. Nice. Mission complete. Tankas, here, you got the materials you asked for. Hand it over the excitation device. Great work. I just have to put the device here. Good. This will neutralize the nanomachines. Let's go. Yeah. Tankas uses his equipment to disable the nanomachines. It worked. Now we just need to give the cross time to heal. That was a close one. I wasn't sure we'd make it in time, but it looks like things will work out fine. We should probably set up some defenses in case something like this happens again. Serana, I'll always be here to talk if you are feeling down about anything. Wait. Yes? When my husband died, I became desperate. I wanted to hold on to something, anything he left behind at any cost. But, that wasn't the best way to grieve. I learned my attachment to the past is dragging me from real life. I realized all that now. It's like my husband used to say, the things in life that we must treasure are in our possessions. What's really important is treasuring the memories of our loved ones. When these crops are fully grown, they'll be harvested and sent somewhere else. Will they help make someone happy? Will they help support and nourish a family? I hope so. That's the kind of thing my husband would have taken pride in. If those feelings of achievement and happiness... It's those feelings of achievement and happiness that I want to treasure. I let myself get distracted by trying to preserve the fields and all... and our old cultivation methods. But I need to be strong and face the future. For myself and for him. Hmm. 
your husband was a green man. He always paid attention to the details. But even he never tried to do everything by himself. He knew the value of cooperation and teamwork. I didn't know that. There was so much I never knew about him. Tankus, Aldo, I'm sorry for all the trouble I've caused both of you. I don't know how I can make it up to you. How about you join me for dinner at my place tonight? Huh? Oh, I don't want to impose. What's wrong? It's just, you remember so much about your husband today. I thought maybe you would want to be alone and reminisce some more. When you feel ready to go back to work, I'd be glad to join you in the fields again. That does sound nice. Thank you for being so understanding. Okay. You're sure about this? Yes, it's just like with farming. You can't rush, or you'll ruin the results. It takes time to produce something good. Okay. Mission complete. There we go. Nice. Very, very nice. Okay. Alright. We still have a lot of side quests to do. But at least we got something, some of those done. That is good. Okay. We're going to wrap it up for today. We'll return next week. We'll return next week for more Another Eden. And hey, today at least we... We did some stuff at least. We completed the character quest that we had unlocked so far, which were like four. And with this, uh, we get started with the subquest that were available. And I guess we'll continue from there next week. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, now, for tomorrow, we have Honkai back third. Uh, we are going to start the last chapter that got released. We finally caught up with the. Uh, with the story, we are finally at chapter 35, which is like the, the finale of the whole story arc that we went through so far, from my understanding. So yeah, we are finally, we finally caught on on the story there. So we're going to start at chapter 35 tomorrow, alright? Okay, with all that said, thank you so much for being here, everybody. Hope you all enjoyed the stream of today. And as I said, tomorrow we'll continue the story on Honka Impact there, okay? Uh, by the way, I did say this yesterday at the end of the stream, but I say it, say it today, like a reminder. Uh, tomorrow, I, uh, my country has the whole time savings thing, the change of hour. So, it's quite, so for some people, the stream might start like an hour later. Probably for some people. So tomorrow is going to be... 4 p.m. GMT plus 2 instead of plus 1. Okay? It's like one hour later. Alright? For some people, it might feel like an hour later, but it's still 4 p.m. Alright? Just a heads up. Uh, but okay. That's all I have to say. Once again, thank you for being here. Hope you, just, hope you enjoyed the stream. And I'll see you tomorrow. Alright? Okay. Bye-bye.